Hi guys, my name is Jennifer Tomazzini and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to do a Get Ready With Me Fall Edition. So guys, please subscribe to my channel. I will really, really appreciate it. And please, if you like this type of video, click a thumbs up. And if you guys are interested to see how to do this look, let's keep watching, shall we? So guys, uh, I have now prepped my face with my moisturizer that I'm using right now uh, at daytime and it's the uh, Neutrogena Hydro Boost Aqua Gel. It looks like this and uh, what it does, it's very good uh, for moisture. Uh, it's like a gel consist consistency and it smells really fresh, really good and as you guys can see it's a bit like light blue and I usually uh, use it just daytime and it really helps with hydrating my skin um, and I really enjoy it. For the evening I'm using the La Mer, you guys already know that, the moisturizer cream and for daytime I'm just using this one and it's really good. Then I'm gonna prep also my lips with my favorite lip balm and this one is the La Mer lip balm, the classic ones, they just have one of these. And as you guys can see, I really use and abuse it, huh? So I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it on my lips. I'm watching here, guys, because I have my mirror here. So, now I prep my lips. And we can start with the Our Fall Edition look. <laughs> so, for skin, with the primer I'm going to be using is the uh, uh, Pore Fashional one, the primer from Benefit. This one has been using for a very, very long time. And what it does, it uh, blur the skin, also take away wrinkles and big pores. So I usually put it on the T-zone, so on the forehead, on my nose and on the chin. And I think it's the only primer that really helps me. I've been using a lot of different ones, but this one is the one I always go back to because I really think that it does its job. So this one I highly, highly recommend it. It looks like this, classic one. Today I'm gonna be using a new foundation that I've been enjoying this month of September. And this one is the Huda Beauty's Full Filter Foundation in the color um, Amaretti 310G. Looks like this. The bottle is in plastic, but it looks very, very like luxurious and minimalistic. It comes with a pump. And this one is actually a full cover foundation. Um, so if you guys are not into that type of look, I will suggest to try the Makeup Forever HD, uh, HD. Um, because it's a little bit more on the glowy side and it's between um, a light to medium coverage foundation. This one it's much much heavier but you don't need a lot because a little bit goes a long way and I'm going to apply this with the Real Techniques sponge that I've been using uh, a couple of months now. I really like it. So yes, I'm just gonna shake it first. <laughs> so and just one pump I think will be enough, we'll see. So, and I'm just gonna apply it on each side and then blend it in. This one looks kind of good for my complexion. Maybe I could go a little bit darker, but that's because I have um, a self tan on. But during winter and without a self tan, this will look perfect. Now I'm gonna go also a little bit like on my eyelid, just to blend everything in. And in any ways, in any means, I'm a makeup artist. That is, this is something that I just learned by myself, by watching YouTube and stuff. So don't think I, I try to be a makeup artist. This is just what I do on a daily basis. And I just wanna show you guys what I do. <laughs> so. Now we're done with foundation. I think it blends in very well. And as you guys can see, just one pump and it, it goes the, a long, long way. I just did my whole face and my face is kind of like round and it still had a lot of um, coverage still. 
it's definitely full covered foundation, but it looks really good on. And I think Huda Beauty did this, this foundation just because she wanted something that looked really flawless and beautiful uh, on photographs, so on Instagram and everything. So this I can suggest, for example, for your wedding day, for special occasions, or exactly if you want to do like a professional photo shooting, I will suggest also this foundation. So yeah, now we're done with the Huda Beauty and we're going in with um, concealer. And the concealer that I'm using is a combination of two. Uh, but I think for today, I'm just gonna go with one color. But it's the Tarte Shade Tape. This one is an oldie but a goodie. I have been using it a lot, like a long, since a year I think I've been using this, or more, maybe two years. <laughs> And this one is in the color medium and then I have another one also share tape and this one is light medium honey but I'm gonna be using the medium one because I'm a little bit self tan just gonna go in under the eye area like this and then I'm gonna go a bit on the forehead bridge of bridge of the nose cupid's bow and on the chin and then just gonna blend it in again with the Real Technique one. And it's also a full coverage concealer and really cover up everything. And the good thing is it doesn't crease if you bake it right. Exactly. And medium as a color for me right now, it's perfect. Okay, now the concealer is done. And then I'm just gonna Mm, I think I'm just gonna do the contouring. I just do a cream contour and then afterwards I will bronze. So the cream contouring I've been using is the Fenty Beauty one in the color Mocha. And this one is the second one I've been purchasing uh, because it's really, really good. It's so pigmented. The color is like to die for. It's like the perfect amount of brown and gray and it's not too orangey on the skin so for contouring it's perfect it blends in, it blend in really really good with the help of the real technique sponge and i'm just going to show you how i do it just down also down a little bit up on the forehead and under the chin like this so not a lot huh? you don't need much but it's the only cream contouring that I have been loving. There is also another one that it's really good that I highly recommend, and it's the Kiko one. Kiko one cream contouring. They have two shades. I usually take the darkest one because I think the first one, it's the 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 light the lightest one, it's very orangey, and the other one is like perfect. It, it reminds me a little bit of this one, and it also blends really good. So if you want to have a dupe or spend less money. Instead of buying the Fenty, you can buy the, the you can try the Kiko Cream Contouring. It's so good. I think it costs oh, seven euros, between seven and ten euros. Like it's very inexpensive. So looks like this, and then I go under here. So now I think we have blended everything, and now it's time to bake. And the baking powder that I've been using it's the Huda Beauty one. I'm not sponsored by Huda Beauty, I just love her products. <laughs> and this one is the Huda Beauty Pound Cake. It looks like this, it's a very cute packaging. It's a very, very fine uh, powder. And what she said is like, you have to turn it down. Pack it some, uh, so sometimes like this. And then you have the product like here, you see it, it looks cute. And the good thing is, if you buy the foundation of Huda and then you want to try the powder, she has, I think on her page or maybe on her um, blog, but also you can Google it, you see exactly what kind of powder you should buy if you already know the shade you are in the Huda Beauty foundation. That I think it's really good because I checked, I am, as, I, as you guys know, Amaretti 310 in the foundation. And then it says, if you are like this, you should try the Pound Cake Easy Powder from the uh, Easy um, Baking Powder. Uh, so that's why I bought it. I just bought it online. So did, I, didn't even, I didn't even have to go to the store to try it on. I just ordered online because I already know my shade. So that's really good. It's a good tip. 
and now in Switzerland it also came Huda Beauty uh, in the Manor store Manor you can also buy online on Manor uh, po uh, point CH and yeah you can order online if you want but you can also check it in Zurich at the Manor store so that's really cool because otherwise it's just having Sephora but Sephora is in Milan we don't have Sephora here in Switzerland um, we do have it but then it's in the man Manor store so and it's like a huge uh, mall in Zurich. So now I'm going in with the real techniques and I'm just gonna bake under my eye. On the chin. On the side. So I just have to concentrate. <laughs> So sorry. The nose and just a little bit here. Perfect. Now I powder everywhere as you guys can see. And this I'm gonna just set it down a couple of seconds. And now I'm just doing my eyebrows. Uh, and the thing I've been using uh, for the couple of weeks it's a combination between the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade in the color dark brown. This one is a really old. I have been using this for the longest time, but now I've been pairing it together with another product. And this one is the Benefit Gimme Brow. And it's like a gel, like it's a brow um, volumizing fiber gel in the number uh, three. So first I do the eyebrows with this one and then afterwards I just put this one in. So i have been using then, um, let me check where I have my brush. There it is. This one is my brow brush. It looks like this, a typical brow brush. And this one is from um, a Swedish company, Swedish makeup, um, makeup uh, name. It calls Makeup Store. And the number of this one is, let me see if I can see it, 110. Makeup Store from Sweden, it's huge in Sweden. And it's amazing. They have everything, foundations, lipsticks, uh, brushes eyelashes they have everything and it's a very very good company uh, it's kind of expensive and um, for example Linda Halber I think a lot of people knows her uh, it's a beautiful beautiful uh, youtuber and also makeup artist from Sweden she's popular in the whole world and she was first a makeup store makeup artist and she started there and then she became so big um, yeah so this product all the products are really really good so I'm just going in with this one into my pomade and you know guys like eyebrows are so difficult you know I'm not a, I'm not good at all in doing eyebrows um, I'm just trying my best here but as you guys know I'm not a makeup artist and it's very difficult the good thing is about eyebrows you don't have to be you don't have to do it um, Symmetric so the brow can look different from one another. So that's really good Yeah, they look okay. They're not perfect but who cares. Then I'm going in just with a brush to brush it up a little bit to take away some product and This one is nothing this one I bought like in a Chinese store. I think in Italy. So it's nothing fancy It's just it's good though. It's it's really do it does it works and I'm just gonna brush it a little bit so it doesn't look that fake like this and then I'm going in with the gimme brow gel in the number three as you guys can see it's very very thin but I do like it so I'm just going in a little bit into my brows and it really gave a fuller look and they don't look as messy they just look very like more natural yes perfect now I'm done now we're gonna do like a fall kind of look and the eyeshadow palette I have been using like since forever and I also use this on my wedding day it's the uh, Jaclyn Hill palette the class the first one she made with Morphe and uh, they have 35 colors and it's beautiful it's literally to die for look at this 
like how beautiful you don't need anything else right you just need this one and they're so pigmented and oh i do love them so let's do like a makeup like fall inspired look so i'm just going in first with transition color using the make the mac 217 mac 217 looks like this i'm gonna use a transition color and it's the color right here so the third one and the color is silk cream so i'm just gonna in into my eyelid and this is a perfect transition color just doing the same on the other side and these eyeshadows are very very pigmented and like it's a like a buttery um, consistent to it so let's do this perfect so the first layer it's done then my second brush that I'm gonna be using is mm, this one right here from Zueva 228 Lux Crease looks like this so it's a little bit more like fluffy and long as you guys can see and i will take a darker color and it will be hmm which one i take now i take this one right here you see it and this one is firework no not firework hands so just put it in and i put it into my crease Give some dimension and give some darker color. I do love this. Yeah, and I do the same on the other side. I do want to do a, a little bit more smoky eye, uh, nude, coppery look today. And this one is perfect for fall. So it looks like this, and then I'm just gonna make it more even with a fluffier brush and this one i don't know where, where it's from it's also from italy in a brush store i don't know it didn't say the name but it's also very good because it's so fluffy and it just makes everything come together so i'm just gonna brush everything perfect and then i'm gonna in again with the same mac 217 with another color i'm just gonna take Hmm, I'm gonna take a darker one, also this one right here, and this one is a uh, pooter. And just again in the crease. Perfect. Then we're going in with another color and with another uh, makeup store brush. And this one, oh my god, 106. Now oh, I have it. And it's like a little bit more thinner brush. And this one is from the crease. No, from the eyelid. And I'm just going in with a bronzier color. This one right here. And this one is fireworks. So I'm just going to pat it in. It looks like this. And then with my finger, I'm going to go in with the same firework. But with the finger, I think, look at the pigment. I barely touch it, but it looks much better when you do it with your finger instead of the brush get so much more pigment on it it's incredible now we're just gonna brush out brush out all the powder that we have and i'm gonna do it with the real technique one uh copper collection i think it was a uh, three in the number 300 and i'm just gonna brush it out pat it in first and then brush it out pat it in brush it out So now I'm gonna in with the same uh, eyeshadow under my eyes, huh? and I'm gonna use um, a brush from Zoeva, and this one is 226 Smudger. It's a very thin one, huh? You see it? So I'm just gonna in with I think not fireworks, but I'm gonna in with um, Hans, also the red shade. This one. 
the red shade here and I'm just going in same with the other eye and I'm just going to in with a little bit a brownish shade with this one shade right here and this one is the buns buns shade and it's very like coppery reddish color so and I think the colors really complement my complexions my eyes are a little bit between red uh, between green and brown so it really my eyes really pops out with this color it really looks good so now with bronzer I'm gonna be using uh, the bronzer uh, Bobbi Brown brush looks like this and my favorite bronzer right now it's the Marc Jacobs um, 110 no 102 tantric it's a huge huge palette no palette it's huge packaging it looks like this I have been using and abuse it so let me show you and I do love bronzer so I'm gonna use a lot of bronzer <laughs> You guys can see and it's so pigmented pigmented and buttery so it looks so good on the skin then we will go in with blush and the brush that I've been using it with is the blush brush from Bobby Brown really good one with the Mac peaches blush and this one is one of Jaclyn Hill favorites so I do love this it's a little bit like orangey kind of color and just on the cheeks. It's so good, right? And then highlighting for highlighting, I'm just using a Sephora brush, nothing fancy, with the Amrezi Anastasia Beverly Hills um, collaboration. Also, I've used it so much, look, and it's perfect. It's still in perfect condition. I have been using this every day. I think two times, two, three times a day, and nothing happens to it. And it really, look at that. It's incredible, right? The, the, the pigment on this, I have no words. So I'm just gonna use another brush for the nose, and this one is from Zoeva 238 Luxe Precise Shade. And I'm just gonna do the nose. And now for the lips, um, I'm going to use a combo and this one is the one of my favorites from Kylie Cosmetics and it's the name Exposed. I think this one is one of, also of Kylie, uh, most used shade that she owns uh, and it's one of the first that ever came in store when she did it. So I'm just going to use the lip liner first and it's kind of a brown nude or like an orange nude just gonna overline my lips perfect and then the liquid lipstick matte liquid lipstick of course yeah it's like a nude orangey brownish color like this yes like this it looks you like it guys and then um, I need a setting spray and the setting spray that I'm using right now is my Tatcha Tatcha luminous dewy skin mist really good one it's good for glowy skin uh, of course if you're oily I will not recommend this but if you're dry normal skin please try this one um, it's incredible it really uh, bring out your uh, makeup it really comes uh, like come to life when you use this one and it gives you exactly this glowy finish and it looks flawless on the skin and it smells really good like this and of course mascara will do afterwards because I first want to know if everything um, really dries 
And another thing that it's very important, and now I forgot to say, my eyelashes. I have eyelash extensions, so I don't need mascara above, just under my eyes. And then I use like a lash brush, looks like this, to brush my, my eyelashes. So I just do like this. And more you don't need to do. That's perfect. So now I think everything went in. So let's try the mascara. The mascara that I'm using is the Dior Show Iconic. Really black, I think it is. And this one is like this. And I'm just gonna do under the eye. Good. This one is the final look. I hope you guys like it.